everybody and happy Monday welcome to my channel and welcome if you're coming here for the first time it's lovely to have your company so easy makes Monday just a little quick short video today um, we're continuing on with the uh, abstract art journals so this one if you remember we did the uh, weaving last week and um, I've actually finished this put some lovely sari on that and all sorts of bits and bobs on there so I thought then we'd concentrate on this one and tomorrow at uh, Tuesday sewing we'll see what the pick jar comes up see what unusual things we can put on here so following on from uh, what I was saying about using the paint chips um, and I put them in the shop I've restocked those now because the original lot have already sold out um, I was thinking that they'd be useful for making some little dangles and uh, so that's what I thought we'd have a go at quickly today so I've got one of my bulldog clips I just get a bag full off Amazon and this is from Amazon as well this is um, this is gorgeous it is the um, waxed cotton the thread that we use for um, sewing up our signatures uh, but it's a lovely thread weight to to use for this I thought so I've cut myself I've been having a play with it I've cut myself a double length now this I side I just put one small hole with the smallest setting on your crocodile or a very small hole punch and I double threaded it through now that looks all right but for this second one I've decided to do it a little differently so I've got some very incy wincy bits of plain red plain black I've got a mixed one there so what I've done is I've put some bags in the shop of um, just plain I think most of them are plain red or plain black uh, gold so they are these ones are shiny but you're getting pieces so you can make your own do whatever you want with it so you'll get a big chunk like this say you might want to cut a few little tags out of it little pieces and and use them bit slightly larger pieces and, and put a, an eyelet in um, or you can just stick them down on a project if you want to um, you can you know I thought that not everybody would want the eyelets in and so it's less expensive as well because these ones aren't highly decorated so these are all from David's art they are original pieces on canvas uh, but obviously these are plain bits of background that I've cut up here for these so uh, yeah you get a bag full 20 pieces for a fiver which really then you can do what you want the other bags the ones for eight pound um they're all eyeletted and they are more patterned um let me just for example show you the stuff that's going in at the moment so they're quite textured and they are from real pieces of david's work that they were on massive pieces of canvas that we haven't just got the space for um, so I thought I'd show you a, another idea because last time I think I clipped them on with a ball pin on the end of uh, uh, on the end of some um, tabs and I've got the little for example here as well um, you can get this little diddy piece and uh, and put it on there and in fact I'm going to leave that there you can put them on your tabs at the end of journals so for example this one we've got some tabs here let me undo it and then I can show you can't I I can show you so I hope you've had a good weekend and I hope you had a lovely 4th of the July uh, 4th of July uh, long weekend for those of you in America had a lovely uh, as we call them bank holidays so for example here I have got this 
this piece in here and I'm just going to pin it through there just let, pin it through there and let it dangle like that and there you go you've got yourself a little pink chip dangle on there and they'll dangle from the edge you can do that with it so today I'm just having a go at um, my hot glue I've got my hot glue here and it's tipping over it's one of them cheap five pound jobs from Hobbycraft and it's it has a mind of its own it don't want to stand up like <laughs> doesn't want to stand up okay so slightly different I've put two holes in these pieces because I think I'm going to do it slightly differently so I've got my tapestry needle so I've got my blunt end and obviously make sure because these are going to annoy me turning over I think um, shall I put a knot in let's have a look how they're going to lie and of course they're going to twizzle about aren't they I think I'm going to put a knot in between actually okay keep thinking that's going to fall off okay so I'm going to take my next one and slide that up that's it I don't think that knot's doing anything is it really I don't think it's stopping it from curling round but the double sided you're okay you get a different look now what do I want in the middle I'm going to put another and they're a bit you know these are scrap ends that I'm using here so they're not going to be and I think that's the beauty of it they're not cut exacting so yeah this is uh, there so you can use whichever way suits you there's two different ways there so I'm going to finish this off by putting a black and a red piece let's, uh, let's just move those up a bit <laughs> I mean you want your dangles to be a bit uh, I mean it's up to what you want you could bring them on top and have them all laid up like that if you want to use loads now that one what's happened with that one that has look can you see how that one's split because I've done the hole too near I'll take that one off then too near the edge I'll take that one off I've got plenty of bits move that up there move that up there there we go this one can you see I'm better off if you move your little uh, hole in so let's have a look at that so you could play around with this you could do all sorts of, uh, of decoration with it now I've only put two on there what I think I could do is I could put more on if I wanted so let's uh, let's knock this off I think it's just something a bit different from using beads and things um, an actual fact I think it'd look great as a cover this um, sorry I'm fiddling it's uh, it is fiddly work I mean if you want to see some lovely tassels and, and trimmings and things then go and check out Jovi from uh, creating with Jovi and then she has a playlist so she has a tassel Tuesday the tassel Tuesday gang and there's a whole um, load of other 
crafters that join in and make tassels every Tuesday on uh, on their videos and uh, you get some good ideas so I'm liking that uh, I think this is a nice idea there so I think I'm going to put a few more on that side so I'll just do another single one so we don't have too many so I'm just going to cut my length I'm going to thread it through okay so that's on there that should be tight it's double knotted okay and I'll, uh, I just want a few more paint chips out there to So we can cut our cut our own. I mean, I can even uh, there's a bit there that I can cut off that. These are ones that I've prepared. These are the ones that are going to have eyelets in it that I haven't finished yet. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll do with that. And these are all on canvas. There's different thicknesses of canvas. So you'll just, you know, cut them up if you want. Right, they're too small for doing this one. Okay, so I'm going to get my cropper down and I want my smallest hole. It's better than being a bit I've altered the setting a bit so I'm not so close to the edge because obviously they're quite delicate and I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut a bit of this off see the canvas fabric One there, that one there. All these itty bitties you can do, you know, you don't throw them out. And oh, that's really tough. That is really tough, that one, because it's a very thick canvas. Okay then, so I'm just going to thread my, I mean you could use string, you can use anything, you can use wire if you've got, you know, if you make jewellery and you've got jewellery wire. Right, I think we will start at the top with this. And you alter them, you know, so they all at the different heights. Now I have done this sort of thing with, uh, you know, the old negatives from photographs. I have threaded, cut, cut those out into pieces and, and uh, put eyelets. Uh, holes in them and threaded them like this and then lastly I'm going to put my little shiny yellow one on so I'm happy with that so they don't take a lot of doing really do they you know they're quite uh, They're just a bit fiddly. Okay. 
take me not out of the way there we go so that's sturdy enough yeah just going to cut the back then keep that neat and there we go there we have and they can go both ways so we've got our dangle there so we've got two at that side that I've done in the knotted way and then this side like that like that so you can either clip it on the spine Wait a minute get it on the spine there and of course they're going to move about that's the nature of them so you know and you just have to keep messing with them and the dingle and dangle and I really like those I mean personally I do like having uh, something on the front if you've got a decorative spine we don't know what we're going to be doing with that yet so there we go that's what I've done with uh, little itty pieces of that one's come undone not done it tight enough have I um yeah little pieces of paint chips i mean you know if you haven't got anything like this you can always cut up some card the the, the paint chips you get from do-it-yourself shops um cut them into colors and do it with the colored pieces of card oh fiddly fiddly come on done I think I'm going to have to tie a bigger knot in that. So, the moral of this tale, tie your knot big enough or go through at the bottom like I have there because it will come through your itty bitty hole. Okay, I've done it now. You don't see me fiddling and faffing. So, I like those. Now, just finally, what I wanted to do was... When my glue guns stopped playing silly silly devils let me just show you what i wanted to do with another piece just get my bow back on so say for example you've got this bow here i do like to sometimes have like an altered paper clip or something on there to keep that tidy now what i'm going to do is i've cut myself a nice piece of this that was in uh, the stash from David and I've got these I've had them years I've never made any I got them to make brooches I never did I was going to make some uh, embroidered brooches uh, on my list of to do <laughs> on my list of to do things so what I am going to do with this is I'm going to make a brooch if this glue gun's going to uh, I think I'm going to treat myself to one of those nice ones that Tina's got I think it's a Bosch or something and it's not on a wire because I mean this don't stand up it's ridiculous so I think it might be better if I open it so that I don't glue down the bit I want for the brooch that would be a better thing wouldn't it okay so I'm just dab 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 do hot hot hot. I don't know how Tina does it. She just presses it and puts her hand in it and there we go. And I'm going to put that on me. Yeah, I'll put that up and. I've used in the glue gun because I think it will be, I've got it, so why not? And it's good for metal. It dries very quickly and it's very secure. So that I can show you what I mean. Oh, I like that. I think I'm going to do some. I'm definitely going to do some embroidered brooches now. Fab. 
that stuck it's stuck and what my idea was with this is you know I've got all my I'll do it you know you can do it more through through if you want get it all lined up and looking in the thing and then I am going to use this so if you do it with something that's that matches take the safety catch round oh <laughs> oh it's come off what's that about oh right let's do again why has that come off is it because it's not scratchy enough I'm going to get my pokey towel I'm going to give it a bit of a scratch is it because it's I don't think that would make a difference surely not right we'll try again why has that not stuck properly they're a bit naff these they were cheapo these again from our big craft you certainly won't put them on expensive jewelry that you made for people you know if you're a jewelry maker you won't use these they're a bit cheap and nasty right press that down let's uh, easier to peel off take my nail varnish off look perhaps I should let it dry better before I try and pin it on if you're doing it with fabric I've done them before where I sew it you know you sew it on seems secure enough so I'll try again let's just do it at the top here If it doesn't do it this time, it's obvious that we need to put something there. That's it, it's done it. Sometimes you have to put a layer of card because it doesn't always accept the thing that you're sticking it to. I've done that quickly, you know, I can faff with that a bit more if I want. But there you go, you know, that, that was my idea that because you've got your tassel on the front, so... Um, Get my tassel. See, I've got my tassel there. Quite looks quite nice on there, doesn't it? Might keep it for this one and make another. You've got your tassel there, and then you know you play about with this brooch, and you've got it. You know, you've got it on there, or you know, you could brooch it onto the end of that whatever you like to do with it so you've got a bit of versatility with it but I just thought it was nice I'd seen these and I thought well I've got these I need to use them and um, yeah it's stuck all right this time it's a bit I'm still a bit not happy with it I think it prefers to stick to it's very slippy canvas so it's supposed to stick to anything though hot glue isn't it um I don't think it's going to last long you know what I'll probably do is I'll put some card on there and stick some card on with some 3-in-1 and then stick that to the card and I think that will give it a bit more of a, a better dimension and I'd have to peel this off I can't stand stuff looking messy and probably why they put a bit of a foam dot behind sometimes they put foam dots don't they behind uh, uh, brooches I reckon I'll stick it on my top. No, yeah, it's come off. It's come off. So, I shall tell you tomorrow how I go on. I'm going to put something else on that. And, uh, and stick it down. 
without the uh, without the canvas because I think it must want we'll put a layer of paper down and then or felt and stick it on should stick better than that for mind you probably had glue I've probably had glue 10 years it's probably lost its stickiness <laughs> I don't know right then gang <laughs> the main thing is that I wanted to make uh, use these paint chips and uh, I'm quite happy with that little dangle there so thank you for joining me just a quick thing today well it was it was meant to be quicker if me if my hot glue worked how I wanted it to I think I need to treat myself to one of those big proper industrial ones that Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah uses so okay then so thanks for joining me I'll see you tomorrow for Stitch Tuesday bye for now mm -hmm.